Hi guys, Emily here. I wanted to talk to you today about some of the improvements we've made in our shipping department as we work towards becoming 100% sustainable. First things first, I want to talk about styrofoam. So this is a styrofoam cooler. It's typically what we use for any temperature sensitive shipments such as PPO4 and occasionally M715. Styrofoam can last in the landfill for 500 years plus. Some people believe that it never biodegrades. What we switch to. This is a 100% biodegradable replacement. It's from a company called Ecovative, and it's made out of mushrooms and barley husks. And it can biodegrade in as little as three weeks. This is another styrofoam replacement. Uh, it's just a panel. It's actually made out of cornstarch. Uh, it can biodegrade in as little as a day if placed in water. And right now it's just being used for protection, but it is being evaluated for temperature sensitive shipments. Another style from the basement. These are the previous packing peanuts that we used. Again, could potentially never biodegrade. These guys are also made out of cornstarch and can biodegrade in as little as a day. They offer the same amount of protection and the peanuts are actually cheaper. The peanuts are what we started with back in July of 2017 and slowly we've just sort of replaced things out. Moving on to plastics. This is a poly bag. Anytime that we're shipping out limited quantity, we need to place it in a secondary, a secondary containment, so like a plastic poly bag. Even if it's a 50 mil cartridge or a gallon can, it all went into the same bag, so a lot of material was wasted. It's also made out of 100% virgin material, and nowhere on the website could I find that it could be recycled. What we switched to. There's a company called Eco and Close, and they actually make these. Uh, they're 100% recycled poly bags, and they can be reused and then recycled right back into poly bags. They also make these smaller flap and seal bags, and by being smaller, they can actually work better for different sizes of cartridges that we have if we're just shipping out single samples, so that way less material is being used in the first place and less energy consumed. Tape. <laughs> Anytime you're packaging up a box, you're going to need to close the box with tape. This is what we used it before. It was HD clear by Duck. And anytime we're sealing up samples, we use an electrical tape just so that way they didn't spill. Uh, liquid samples, that is. What we switched to. So we work with the company Eco and Close, and this is their craft flat back tape. This is a natural rubber adhesive. The whole thing is biodegradable. And I actually find that I use less of this tape than I do the HD clear. Occasionally you'll still need a clear tape for labels, whatever it is you need it for. You can close it, got you covered. So this is a cellulose tape, and again, it's a natural plant-based adhesive. This whole thing can biodegrade. Um, finally, for tape that is, well, whenever we seal up the liquid samples, we typically use the electrical tape. This is what we switched from, or switched to. Um, this is a cellulose seal. It's 100% biodegradable and they come in white, black, or clear. And what they do is they shrink up in about 15 minutes, no heat required. A few little odds and ends. Um, these are the cold packs that we use to use for temperature sensitive shipments. They do say that they're non-toxic, but they do have heavy metal residues that are left behind in the gel. And also the pack itself, I didn't see that it could be recycled. These are biodegradable ice packs. The gel inside will completely biodegrade within six months. Now it does have up to a year shelf life, so I'm assuming that it would biodegrade like in a compost heap or left outside to the elements. Um, and then the outer plastic itself can be recycled. Now, lastly, we were working with Eco and Close. Uh, these are called care cards, and we would place these in each of the shipment, and it says your order was mindfully packaged using eco-friendly materials and our ongoing efforts to support sustainability, which is what Scott Botter is trying to be about. And I really hope that that will inspire some of our customers to maybe reach out, start finding their own sustainable packaging, and together we can make a change. Now, this is just a small improvement to the shipping department. Um, and we're still seeking new innovations and are open to evolving our current shipping process. So if you guys come up with anything, if you find something new or cool, please reach out to me, uh, email, call, I'd love to hear from you, and I really hope that this 
This helps you in your sustainable journey. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you later.